Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will see how to design this home page right here using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And we also have some animation at the beginning. So if I reload this page, we can see that we have this animation for all these elements. And we also have this uh, menu icon. And if I click on that, we have this uh, nav menu displayed over here. And this is also responsive. So if I decrease the width of the browser window, this is how it will look on smaller screens. So let's start building this in this video. Let's get started. Right, so here I have created this folder called home page and I just opened it with VS Code. And I also have this folder called images and in that we have this image. And I have just removed the background of the image and I have saved it as a PNG file. And we're going to use this in our design. So let's start by creating the necessary files. So let's click on new file. Let's create a new file called index.html. Let's create another file called style.css. And we also need a JavaScript file. So let's create a new file called main.js. All right, let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. All right now, let's go ahead and link our CSS file over here. So let's tap link and press tab. And here in the href, let's tap style.css. And the body, I'll just link the JavaScript file. So I'll just tap script, colon src, and press tab. And here I'll just tap main.js. Right now, let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we need to do is create this header section. So we have this logo on the left side and this icon on the right side. So let's go back and uh, let's create a nav for these two elements. And for the logo, let's create an anchor tag. And uh, here I just simply type logo and uh, then we need to have this icon. So for that let's create a division and uh, let's give it a class of menu icon. And in this we will add the icon. So let's get the icon from heroicons.com. Right, so here I'm in heroicons.com and let's search for menu. And here we can see we have these icons. So let's copy this icon right here. So I'll just click on copy SVG. And let's go back and let's paste it over here inside this menu icon division. And now if we open this in our browser, so I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you have this installed, you can just right click in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see that our design is displayed in the browser. So here we have the logo and also this menu icon. Right now let's create another division for these three elements. We have two headings. And we have this image. So for that, let's go ahead and create a division. And let's give it a class of hero. And in that, we'll create a division with the class of content. And in this, we will have this heading. So let's create an H2 for the heading and let's type live. And after that, we need to have the image. So let's create an IMG tag. And here in the SRC, let's type images forward slash hero image.png. Then we need to have one more heading so let's tap h2 and uh, let's type blogger and now we can see we have live and blogger displayed over here we also have the image all right the next thing we need to have is uh, this uh, nav menu and before that let's go ahead and add everything inside a container division and let's give it a class of hero container and let's cut the ending tag from here and let's paste it down here so now we have everything inside this main container division. Right now, let's create these uh, menu items over here. So for that, I'll just create a division with the class of menu container. Now in this, the first thing we need to have is this close icon. So let's create a division with the class of close icon. And let's go back to hero icons and let's search for close. And let's copy this SVG from here and let's paste it over here. And after the close icon, we need to have the links. So here, let's create an anchor tag. And here you can add the link of your pages. I'll just type hash for now. And we need to have about, blog, FAQs, and contact. So let's add them over here. So I'll just type about. And I'll just duplicate this. And then we have blog, FAQs, and contact. Right, I think that's basically it with this uh, HTML. Now let's go ahead and start with the CSS. So let's go to our CSS file. And the first thing we will do is we will get the link of the fonts. 
So here we are using this font called Montserrat for these two headings. And for all the other text, we are using a font called Inter. So let's go ahead and get the font and I'll get the fonts from fonts.google.com. Right here, I'm in fonts.google.com and let's search for Montserrat. And we need to have the bold font from here. So I'll just select this. And uh, let's scroll down and uh, let's search for the bold font. So I think black 900 would be all right. So let's select this. And we also need to have the other font, which is Inter. So let's search for Inter. And let's click on the font. And uh, we need to have the normal style. So let's go ahead and select regular 400. So here we can see we have these two fonts. Right now, let's get the link. So you can copy the link for the HTML and also the link for CSS. I'll just copy this link from here. And let's copy this import link and let's paste it in the CSS. Right now, let's start with the styling of our design. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add some styles to the body. So here for the body, let's type font family and let's set it to inter and sans serif. And then let's also remove the default margin of the body. And now we can see we don't have any margin for the body. So here we can see we don't have any margins. And we also have the font changed to inter. Right now let's go ahead and change the size of these icons. So here we can see for the icons, we have closed icon and we have this icon called menu icon. So let's select those two icons. So just tap nav menu icon and uh, then let's tap menu container. So inside menu container, we have this close icon. So let's tap close icon. And uh, let's set the width of the icon to 40 pixels. And let's see how it looks. And let's go back. And uh, here we can see we have the correct width for the icons. Right now, the next thing we need to do is we need to add this background color for the body. And for that, we're going to use a website called CSS Gradient. So you can just go to this website called CSSGradient.io and go to backgrounds. And here you can search for backgrounds over here. So I'll just go to this gradient hunt. And here we have a lot of different backgrounds. So I just select one of these. I think I'll just copy this one right here. So let's click on copy gradient code. And let's paste it over here inside the body. And uh, now we can see we have the background color added. Right now let's add a height for the hero division. So here we can see we have this division with a class of hero. So we will add a height of 100 viewport height. So let's tap hero. And let's set the height to 100 viewport height. Now let's go ahead and set a height for this image. The image is inside the hero division. So let's tap hero IMG. And let's set the height of the image to 100 viewport height. Right now, the next thing we need to do is we need to position this image and the two headings relative to the hero. So we will position the image to the bottom of the hero division. So for that, let's go back and here for the hero division, let's set the position to relative. And uh, now let's target the image and the headings. So let's type hero, IMG and hero H2. And let's set the position of all of these to absolute. Right now, let's target the image and we'll position the image to the bottom of the hero division. So here for the IMG tag, let's tap bottom and let's set it to zero. And right now the image is not exactly at the correct position. That's because we have this nav menu over here as well. So for now, I'll just go ahead and hide this menu container. We'll start it later. So let's type menu container and let's set the display to none. And let's target the logo and this menu icon. So it is inside this nav element. So here we have this nav element. Now we need to set the position of this element to fixed so that even if you scroll down, the nav element should be in a fixed place. So let's go ahead and type nav and let's set the position to fixed. 
And now if we go back here, we can see that the image is exactly at the bottom. Right now, before styling the nav element, let's go ahead and position the image to the center. So here for the IMG tag, let's type left and let's set it to 50%. And now the image starts from the 50% mark. So here we also need to type transform, translate and negative 50% for the X axis. And for the Y axis, we need to set it to default. So now you can see that the image is exactly in the center. Right now let's go ahead and style this nav element. So here we can see we have this logo on the left side and we have the menu icon on the right side. So for that, let's target the nav and here let's set a max width and let's set it to 1000 pixels. And let's set the left position to zero and the right position to zero so that it has the complete width needed. And let's add a background color to see whether everything is being displayed correctly. So now we can see we have the correct width for the element. Now we want the logo on the left side and uh, this icon on the right side. So for that, let's set the display to flex and uh, let's align items to the center and justify content to space between. And now we can see that the logo is on the left side and uh, this icon on the right side. Now let's also add some padding. So I'll just have padding and let's set the padding to 32 pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right. But now we need to bring this to the center of the screen. So for that, let's type margin and zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And now it is exactly in the center. Now let's go ahead and remove this background color. Right now let's style this logo. So for the logo, we have this anchor tag and uh, Let's go ahead and type nav a and uh, first of all, let's set the font size to 20 pixels and let's set the color of the text to 8 to 9 DFF and uh, let's remove the underline. So let's type text decoration and let's set it to none. And uh, we'll also type text transform to uppercase. And I think for the logo, we have this bold style for the font. So let's get the link of that style as well from Google Fonts. Right here, we can see we have this uh, Inter and Montserrat. And if you go to the Inter font, and if you scroll down, here we can see we also have this bold version. So it is bold 700. So let's go ahead and click on select bold 700. Now we can see that 700 and 400, both these styles are added. So let's go ahead and copy this import from here. And let's paste it over here. Right now, let's go ahead and uh, type font weight bold. So now we can see we have the correct style for the font. Right now, let's style the menu icon. So here we have already added some styles for it. So here we have the menu icon. So let's set the color of the menu icon to white. Right now, let's also set the cursor to pointer for this menu icon. So when you hover over this, we need to have the cursor set to pointer. And right now it is not setting the cursor to pointer. So for that, let's go ahead and uh, go to the nav element. And we need to add a Z index so that it's above all the other elements. So let's tap Z index of 200. And now we can see we have the cursor set to pointer when we hover over this. Right now, let's go ahead and style the two headings. So if you go back to the index.html file, here we can see that we have this h2 with live and then we have another h2 with a text of blogger. So let's go ahead and uh, first of all, target the first h2. So let's type hero h2 colon first child. So this will select the first H2. And for the first H2, let's go ahead and uh, set a font size of 300 pixels. And uh, now if you select this, we can see that we have this H2 with a size of 300 pixels. Now before continuing with our styles for the first H2, let's go ahead and add some common styles to both the H2 elements. So let's go ahead and type hero h2 and uh, let's set the font family of both the h2 to Montserrat and sans serif and uh, let's set the font weight to 900 and let's 
type text transform uppercase and we'll set the color of the text to white and we'll also remove all the default margins so here we can see we have the first heading and let's go ahead and add the other styles for the first h2 so first of all let's change the color of the first h2 to this color right here and uh, let's also set the position of this element so if you scroll up here we can see that we have already set the position to absolute and it will be positioned relative to the hero division right here because for that we have set the position to relative so here let's type bottom and let's set the bottom position to 200 pixels let's set the left position to 50 percent and now we can see it starts from the 50 percent mark so just like we did for the image let's type transform translate and negative uh, 50 percent for the x-axis and zero for y-axis so right now the heading is in the center all right now let's go ahead and uh, target the second heading so for that let's type hero h2 colon last child so this will select the last element which is the second one in our case and for this we will set the font size to 160 pixels and let's set the bottom position to 60 pixels and let's also bring it to the center so let's tap left 50 percent transform translate negative 50 percent for the x-axis and zero for y-axis and for the second one let's also add a little bit of rotation so let's type rotate and let's set it to negative three degrees and let's also add text shadow so let's type text shadow and let's set the value to one pixel 22 pixels 12 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.4 and now we can see we have this text shadow and with that we have styled the home page for our desktop version now in the next video we will see how to add the animation that you see over here when we reload the page and we'll also add the functionality of this menu icon so when we click on this we want to display these menu items and when we click on the close icon we want it to disappear and we'll also make it responsive so we will do that in the next video all right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.